Hey there, I'm Dr. Calvin Wu with Steady Health, and we're here today to talk to you about continuous glucose monitoring, or CGM for short. These are nifty devices that um, you place for one to two weeks, and it measures your blood sugar values just underneath the skin. So if you think about traditionally, we have you prick your finger and get a single blood drop to measure what single value. CGM actually gives you a, a new value up to every five minutes. So the best analogy here is a finger stick is like a single snapshot of your blood sugars, whereas a CGM is like a video of your glucose values throughout the day. So today we're gonna to show you how to put on the, the three most common brands. So we have the Dexcom um, G6, we have the Freestyle Libre, and we have the Medtronic Guardian CGMs. When comparing between the three major CGM brands, some of the things you'll be considering include wear time, warm-up period, uh, frequency of blood sugar readings, cost, and features. Let's start with the Dexcom G6. When you put on a Dexcom G6 sensor, you can expect to wear it for 10 days at a time. There is a two hour warm up period, after which you'll start getting blood sugar readings every five minutes. Because it works through Bluetooth technology, it will wirelessly transmit your data continuously. Therefore, you can set customizable alerts and alarms. Next up, we have the Medtronic Guardian sensor. This sensor will last for seven days at a time with a warm-up period of up to two hours. Just like the G6, it will transmit a blood sugar reading every five minutes and allows you to set customizable alerts and alarms. Last but not least, we have the Abbott Freestyle Libre. This device differs from the other two in that it is technically a flash glucose monitoring system. It can be worn for 14 days at a time with a shorter warm-up period of one hour. It will automatically collect a new blood sugar reading every 15 minutes, but can then be scanned for a new value every minute as well. It then uses NFC technology to download up to eight hours of data stored on the sensor down to the receiver at the time of each scan. It has a lower cost compared to the other two options, but the current model does not then allow for alerts and alarms since it doesn't deliver continuous flow of data. Hey everyone, my name is Henrik and I'm the founder of Steady Health. And today, I am going to show you how to insert a new Dexcom G6 sensor. So the G6 consists of two separate parts. A transmitter, that is good for about three months, and you reuse between sensors. And then the actual sensor that goes into your arm, and you can wear that for about 10 days. Um, I'm going to insert the sensor on my right arm today, but you can have it a little bit um, where you like, on your abdomen or on your back as well. It's a little up to your personal preference. So let's get started. I'm going to roll up my right sleeve here and then take off the protective plastic on the front. Make sure to keep the little sticker here with the code that I'm going to use in my phone later and then wiggle off this little protective plastic that is above the insertion button. Trick is to find a spot on the back of your arm that um, is out of the way, uh, but also that avoids any piece of muscle. Stick it on, press it up against your arm, and then press the orange button. Try to hold it towards your arm a little bit so that you make the adhesive stick properly. It's going to be there for 10 days, hopefully. And after a few seconds, remove it and the sensor should be inserted. Uh, next up is to take the little transmitter and pop it into the casing like that. And that's it. I have a new sensor on. Hi, I'm Nilu and I'm the Member Experience Manager at Steady Health. I'm sitting here with Amy, who's our nurse and certified diabetes educator, and she's going to be putting on a Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitor on me today. And she's going to give you guys a little intro about it. Great. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, the Libre or the Freestyle Libre continuous glucose monitor comes in a box like this with single-use applicator and sensor. 
Um, and when you um, obtain the system as well, you will get a receiver to use, but you can also use an app that you can download on your phone as the receiver, so you do not have to use this receiver. Um, the biggest difference that you should be aware of with this system from other CGM systems on the market is that you have to physically activate the receiver in order to read your blood sugar value at that moment. So either with the receiver or with the phone, you physically scan it over the sensor and the result will show up on the receiver or your phone. Um, the other main difference with this system currently um, is that there are no alerts or alarms when your blood sugar is either at or above your low or high limit. That is changing for future versions of this. The Freestyle Libre can be wear, worn excuse me, for 14 days, um, which is longer than any other device right now on the market as well. So what I'm going to do is just show you how this works. It's really simple. We're going to put it on Nilu. It's not going to hurt at all. And um, I always encourage people to start with clean skin. An alcohol swab here. It also works if just coming out of the shower, clean, dry skin. And then on the back of your arm, just wipe an area where there's loose tissue. We do not want you putting this into muscle unless you like pain. <laughs> Most people don't. And because I am a healthcare provider and there's a potential for blood, I'm going to wear gloves. You do not need to wear gloves at home. And then I always have the manual instructions out and available in case I get disrupted, interrupted by a phone call, anything, so I know where I can pick up. Um, again, this is only approved to be worn on your arm by the FDA at this time. So the first thing that you should do is pull the uh, sensor out of the box and look at the expiration date. You do not want to use these products if they are expired, and they do have expiration dates on them. So we are okay with this one, and I'm going to peel the top off. And then this is the applicator. We're just going to twist and crack it. We're going to save this cap piece. The sensor is actually going to go together. There are two lines on the applicator and the sensor base here that line up, the line there and the line there. You see that? And you just pop it down into place. The two pieces are connected and you pull it out. It's all in here now and activated, ready to go. So I'm literally just going to push this onto your skin. You'll hear a small little click. I'm going to hold it there for a couple seconds to make sure it, here, it, it adheres to your skin well, and then I'm just going to pull it off. Okay, sounds okay. good. So, on the count of three, you will feel, you put a little pressure on your arm. One, two, three. Nice. Yeah. Didn't really hurt. There you go. I'm a pro. <laughs> I went to school for this. And now, we just pull it straight back off, and there's our sensor in place, a tiny little bit of tape. To hold it in place and the next thing we need to do well first always recap even though there's no needle to be seen it's fully contained needle you'll recap just for safety and um, disposal purposes and now you're going to take the reader whichever reader version you want the this one that comes with the system or your phone i'm going to demonstrate with the reader that um, comes from libre press the blue button to turn it on it'll walk you through a quick setup process and you'll get to a screen that says start new sensor. So go ahead and press start new sensor. And then it says start new sensor, scan, scan sensor to start it. So we will scan it and you heard, did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. And it says we're in an active session now. Nice. <laughs> Exciting. Okay. So one hour sensor warm up and then this will start reading. So one hour where you won't be receiving any blood glucose values on the screen here. In one hour, you can do a scan and it will show you your blood sugar reading with a directional arrow and you'll be good to go for the next 14 days. Awesome. And then at the end, you peel it off like a Band-Aid. <laughs> hey, my name is Pratik uh, and I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, get set up with the Medtronic uh, CGM. 
So these are the pieces you need to get set up with, uh, with the Medtronic sensor. Uh, you have the inserter, uh, which is used to actually insert the uh, sensor. Uh, you have the sensor itself, uh, the transmitter that will connect to the sensor, and then uh, the overtake so you can keep everything in place, and then uh, IV prep, which is used to just prepare the site. So the first step is to take the sensor out of the packaging. And we'll just place that on the table. And then we'll take the uh, inserter and just connect it to the actual sensor. And then uh, the next step will be to get uh, to select a site. And then I'm going to take, take the inserter and place it over and install and just hold it in place. And then take out the top plastic piece and just settle the band-aid in. Next step is to just remove the plastic piece or the paper from the bottom. And then we're going to place, we'll place the over tape to keep everything in place. And just carefully place it over the sensor piece that was inserted. And remove the tapes. So next we'll actually connect the transmitter to the sensor. And just push it in and then place the overtape on that. <laughs> 